Some very different, very distinct fleet practices are being put into place in Eastern Europe versus Western Europe, and in the US versus the rest of the Americas. Hear more from Janice Christensen, a highly trusted industry expert. Talking about best practices in other areas and how they relate to the US. And so what I was saying is that um, I think there's a very distinct difference between uh, the practices that are being put into place in, in, for example, Eastern Europe versus Western Europe and in the Americas uh, versus the U.S. So I think if you look at um, Eastern Europe, um, you know, as I said, with all of the training classes that we're doing there, that they're uh, likely to adopt more of the U.S. model um, and most likely ultimately do open-end track leases as they do in, uh, in the United States. Uh, and in, in, in Western Europe, not so much so. Uh, more that um, the closed-end leases in our experience is, is still um, the method of funding and we do not see really uh, any interest in changing from that methodology, which is quite surprising because uh, when you look at some of the organizations, the thought process would be that they would want to reduce their amount of risk on the residual value. Even though there's a great interest from many of the large multinational companies to have, have a funding financing arrangement that is, is most common and prevalent in the United States, North America.